I feel like it. I feel like it would be under amber, yeah? Probably. Not pale ale, Chico pale ale, gluten free, oh yeah, hell no. American IPA, Belgian style double IPA, India black ale, thirsty, thirsty howls, dipa. Amber, all right, now we're getting in the extra special, ooh, extra special spitter. Hoppy red ale, we've seen this one before, nut brown, ooh. What do you have, nut white? <laughs> um, red devil amber, ooh. Kinky and delicious. Okay, we'll hold that aside. Ooh, a Scots ale. Scotsy. That could also be really, really good. That could be good, yeah. Imperial red, here we go. Now we talking. Yeah, but. I thought we were kind of keep it low ABV. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> but now we talking, you know what I mean? Exactly. We talk words. So we're looking for a half pound of this British Dark Crystal, which tastes very nice. Yes. So how about we use that? And so this comes out to 10 and 3 quarter pounds, and this only comes out to 10 pounds when you add it all up, because it's 7, 8, and a half, 9, and a half, 10. Mm -hmm. So what if... We shoot for ten and a half pounds of malt. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now, let's do ten and three quarter, or eleven, because then that's where we'll edge on our maybe six percent ABV. True. So we'll give a little more oomph in both the mouthfeel and the character and our, and you our know. Stomachs. <laughs> exactly, yes. And our uh, ability to drive vehicles. <laughs> Okay, so let's shoot for let's shoot for 11 pounds here, and I like I like the idea of using this Mar the Marie Otter. Hmm. Ooh, that is very different than the, the two row. Well, this is a British British two row. The American. So we kind of have what we want to do. Um, so we're going with the Homebrew Mart Scottish Ale, but we're doing a our version of it. Got to mess with it, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're doing nine and a half pounds of Maris Otter, uh, 0.5 pounds of the British Dark Crystal, uh, 0.25 pounds of the Black Prince, uh, one pound of the Bonlander Munich 10L, and. Hops, I don't know, because we have a bunch in my house, and yeast. Mostly Fuggles, though. Yeah. That's what the recipe calls for, but maybe a little El Dorado, maybe a little Apple Crisp. Tune in. You'll find out. Just yeah. like we will. Exactly. And for yeast, um... Ooh, Edinburgh. I have this yeast at home, so I think we'll use it. Good stuff. Yeah. Going back to basics. English tradition, everyone. Edinburgh. <laughs> Correction, we realize Edinburgh is in Scotland, so just so you know, it is a Scottish yeast, not a Scottish red ale. Isn't that right, Nate? True. <laughs> Alright, and we're back. Mr. Nate, tell us what we got. Alright, so we've updated it. So, doing 9.5 pounds of the Maris Otter. Um, 0.5 pounds of the British Dark Crystal, um, one pound of the Bonlander Munich uh, 10 Level Bond. Bonlander! And we're doing three quarters of a pound of the Special B. Special B. 
special B. 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 Right? Yeah. We'll go with that. It's the sure. good stuff. Woo! Alright. Just so you know, we're looking for Das Scoop. <laughs> Did you find it? Really? Found a Das Scoop. Found Das Scoop. Ah, yeah, my scoop. man. My man. Alright, here we go. So, what is it we have, Nate? Maris Otter. We need nine and a half pounds. Maris of it. Otter. Okay, yeah, yeah. Das Scoop. I'm gonna need some more. We got more, yeah. That's more. More, more. Way more. Way more. If I get one more scoop before the thing runs to overflow. Oh yeah, okay, so we got five pounds. A little bit over five. That's a swipe. Let's get a good look at that. Yeah. Oh, it's very good. Oh, the green dust smells intoxicating. <laughs> not really. It's not beer yet. <laughs> not really. Almost there. Okay. Alright. Almost. Just gotta get to four. And we're good. The man is working for his beer. Ooh, almost there. Almost. Just think, is that is that is that right? Eh, yeah. yeah, probably a little bit over. It's okay, a little over is not a problem. There we go. Perfect. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Very good. That was the Maris Otta. And now it's what? 0.5 pounds of the British Dark Crystal. British Dark Crystal. Oh, that was almost. He's so close. Works for me. Alright, what next? Next one. Uh, one pound of the Bonlander Munich. One pound of the Bonlander Munich. That is right. Yeah. Boom. Oh yeah. Perfect. Oh, this is heavy. Yeah. One more, yeah? One more. You wanna get it? Yes, sir. Three fourths of the special B. Special B. Special B but will be with me. Aha. Come on on a trip in our favorite beer making ship. We need the scale to know how much more to go. All right. Is it an accurate scale, Mr. Nate? Is it reading right? Okay. All right. We're reading right. So B, here it be. It's not my mom. <laughs> That's almost it. Ah, oh, so close. Only so another ounce. And a little bit more. Oh yeah. Right half. Oh yeah, you're right. A little bit more. I don't get paid to do this. I'm not very good. 
works for me. There we go. Yes, sir. Welcome back to the mill house. Mill house. <laughs> so, this is where we get our bag. You don't need a bag since we have this. Oh yeah, we have a bucket. <laughs> Oops. This is this is Nathaniel Bingham recycling everyone. Yeah. It is the official modern brew life bucket. Absolutely. Keep hands clear. There we go. Oh, let me just fall over real quick. It's pretty slippery in here. Oh, oh yeah. Here we go, ladies and germs. Time to safely mill. It could male or female. So, one, two, three for all inclusive purposes. PC. Keeping it PC, bro. PC, bro. <laughs> Milling away. And also female in a way at the same time. No discrimination here. No, bro. Just climb up there and. and All right, so we're gonna do. We we just milled, mill. so you know what we do. Again, One, two, three, double mill. Boom. <sighs> Spicy. All right, everyone behind closed doors. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. The literal closed door. Well, if only I put the bucket underneath it. So yes, yeah, so we still don't know what, what hops we're gonna use. Uh, we'll probably figure that out on the brew day, like yeah. Sunday. Um, but the yeast, we're going with the Edinburgh yeast, I think, if I have it at my house. Um, Edinburgh. If I do, I'll make a starter for it. Um, and see if it's still active. Alright, so that concludes our, uh, brew night. Or not brew night. Um, what'd you call it? Ingredient night? Yeah! Don't forget to write! <laughs> Exactly, um, but we're gonna be probably brewing this Sunday and figuring out the rest of the recipe that we're gonna do. Um, so, yeah, so stay tuned and we'll have a, a good brew day. Brew day with your brew boys. Exactly. Don't forget to write at night. <laughs> also, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget that.